brush my teeth and look in the mirror. I'm Dr. Brian Novi, and I teach in the restorative dentistry department. Loud as I'm beaming from ear to ear. My area of expertise is dental caries. Uh, and that's just the scientific term for a cavity. I'm not a very unique person. I'm very boring, I'm very serious. I don't like to have fun. I find that teeth give me all the enjoyment I need in life. And, uh, no, I take that back. I like to scuba dive and I go hiking. I like to bird watch in my backyard. I have 16 different bird feeders in my backyard. I am gonna meet with my therapist to discuss the fact that I think it's become more of an addiction rather than just a hobby at this point. I knew before I ever went to a dentist the first time when I was seven years old that I wanted to be a dentist. Don't ask me why, I had no idea. My high school counselor said that dental school probably would not be an option for me, that I probably couldn't handle it academically. And so I wound up studying opera instead and dropped it out of opera. Worked in the theme park industry for a long time. Actually, I had an employee who went home with a toothache one day and I thought, wow, how did I wind up working in a theme park when I wanted to be a dentist? And uh, went to college and then came to dental school here and now I'm faculty. I think that most people don't realize how much blood you're gonna see when you're a dentist because a little bit of blood mixed with a lot of saliva looks like a lot of blood. What's a typical dental student here at Loma Linda? I would say it's probably someone who's has very strong academic performance and can handle a really, really seriously difficult course load. You can't have other things really taking your time away from you while you're in dental school, so it puts a lot of strain on personal relationships, on family relationships, um, so it, it can be tricky. Look, a black Phoebe, right there, sitting right there. Yeah, it flies across the grass, it snatches up insects, you'll know it catches an insect when you hear a sharp click of its beak as it kills the insect. Watch it, it's cool. Are you the type of person who's going into dentistry because you just want to make a lot of money or you, do you want to go into dentistry because you have a passion for helping people because you have a passion for teeth. Here at Loma Linda the emphasis is helping people first making money second. My career goals are very fluid right now because when you graduate dental school all of a sudden you realize a gigantic goal you had and then once you've reached that goal you go this is it. <laughs> Seriously that's the way you feel when you get your degree you go I'm a doctor and you have to get some new goals really quickly. So it's kind of like when you get into dental school, you've been handed a gigantic gift for you to customize the rest of your life. And I think back on my life when I was 17 years old and my high school counselor said I wasn't smart enough to be a dentist, even though that's all I ever wanted to do. Now I look at myself sitting here recording a video for Loma Linda when I remember the day when I was on the internet looking up how to be a dentist and oh my gosh, I don't think I'll ever be able to do this. And how did I get to be here? I guess one day I just said, all right, I'm gonna do it. And I did it. And I have a winning smile.